Prime Minister Mia Amor Motley reflected on Mr. Lamming's immense lifelong contribution, praying that his spirit would imbue in all Barbadians the sense of courage, compassion and commitment which he possessed. I recall, as I said on the day on which he passed, that this quintessential Barbadian, this quintessential Bajan, has done so much to allow us to be. And in this year, last year, those expressions to which I referred, both the Republic and the tangible expression of gratitude at Golden Square, I lay also at the feet of George Lamming. And the Prime Minister adds that the country must come to appropriately honour its giants. I refer to George, I refer to Kamau, I refer to Tom Clark. I can go on and refer to others living like Esther, but we must come to appreciate that our determination to salute them is not about big man or big woman, but it is about sustaining, sustaining the worthiness and honor of their message. And in his tribute, Vice Chancellor of the University of the West Indies, Professor Sir Hilary Beckles, says the university has long enjoyed a very close relationship with Mr. Lamming. We created a space called the George Lamming Pedagogical Center. Pedagogical because we wanted all academic thought all scholastic visioning to be associated with the mentality George had invested in us. And also paying tribute was Mr. Lamming's daughter, Dr. Natasha Lamming Lee. She says while few people can commit at an early age to what their life's work will ultimately be, her father was one of the few who mastered it. For decades, he dedicated his life to exploring the power of the word. He had a wonderful delivery of it. He felt the need to share his thoughts and dreams for a future society with young writers and developing minds. He did this at sometimes great sacrifice of his family, but he kept the goal in mind. I have not always understood the passion that drove him, but when I see the lives that he has touched, the teaching, discussions, collaborations, and friendships that he has forged, I accept that this is what he had to do. Meanwhile, some of the tributes in song included renditions from Dr. The Most Honorable Anthony Gabby Carter, Arturo Tappet, and the students of the George Lamming Primary School. Now, Mr. Lamming was officially laid to rest on Thursday, June 30th, during a private family burial, which he had requested. May he rest in peace. Ryan Broom, CBC News.